Sex facts you might not have known. We cover everything from why socks are sexier than lingerie to how sleeping with your wife may help you advance in your career. Sex appears in around 10% of all dreams. Sex fantasies aren't limited to horny adolescent lads. According to a research released by the American Academy of Sleep Medicine, roughly one out of every 10 dreams has R-rated sexual content, and this is true for both men and women. However, there were some gender differences. Women were more likely to have sex dreams about politicians, celebrities, or their ex-lovers, whilst males were more likely to dream about having sex with numerous partners at the same time. Women get erections too. According to Sadie Allison, DHS, a sexologist, creator of TicklaKitty.com, and author of Tickle His Pickle Your Hands on Guide to Penis Pleasing. Women have erections in their genitals, and while they are smaller than the male counterpart, they are just as significant. The clitoris is formed of the same spongy erectile tissue as the penis, she says, which grows and engorges with blood when stimulated. You can see this by looking at your clitoris or touching it while you're excited, and it will become larger. 3% of people have no sexual fantasies at all. Consider yourself a weirdo for having strange thoughts. Nope. According to Justin Lamiller, PhD, a research fellow at the Kinsey Institute and author of a study on sexual fantasies, as well as the book Tell Me What You Want, The Science of Sexual Desire, and how it can help you improve your sex life. 97% of us have sexual fantasies, even though most people don't talk about it. The great majority claim they fantasize several times per week to many times each day. The most unexpected aspect is that some people report having no sexual desires. A headache may really improve your mood. Contrary to the widespread adage, not tonight, I have a headache, one research discovered that headache patients do not uniformly avoid sexual activity. According to Wake Forest University School of Medicine and colleagues' research, migraine victims reported increased levels of sexual desire. Why? Our findings imply that the same brain chemical influences both sexual desire and migraine headaches said Timothy Houle, Ph.D., lead author and research assistant professor of anesthesiology. The clitoris is much larger than you realize. In addition to the visible clitoris, there is a much larger part beneath the skin called the clitoral urethral vaginal complex that engorges with arousal. According to Stella Harris, certified intimacy educator and sex coach and author of Tongue Tied, Untangling Communication in Sex, Kink, and Relationships, when a woman gets aroused, the vaginal canal lengthens as the uterus is dragged higher into the body, with the angle frequently shifting. Not only is this intriguing, but it's also one of the reasons why waiting for full arousal results in more pleasant sex. Sex is best when your body is ready, she explains. Do you want an orgasm? Keep your socks on. According to study conducted by the University of Groningen, if you want to boost your chances of having an orgasm, keep your socks on during sex. No one knows why this works, but one argument is that in order to orgasm, you must be completely calm and anxiety-free. And chilly feet might interfere with the ability to truly get into sex, particularly for women. According to Fran Walfish, PhD, psychologist and author, sex should never be harmful. Euler believes that intercourse should never be painful. Women frequently get the message that sex hurts, and that's simply the way it is. The first time may be difficult, but subsequent sex should not be painful for either partner, she adds, and if it is, consult your doctor about possible causes and solutions. Accept that this is how sex works for you. Next, choose which sex issues you should take seriously. The most attractive feature is a sense of humor. Farting occurs during sexy times. Falling off the bed, belching, losing touch, and making a variety of strange noises all count. Bodies are strange. So, throughout the deed, don't take yourself too seriously. While sex should be passionate, it should also be enjoyable, so don't be afraid to grin and even laugh during sex, especially at the rare blunder, says Jonathan Bennett of The Popular Man, a professional psychotherapist, author, and relationship coach. Be so at ease with one other that you may both feel a wide variety of emotions during sex. Most women can have many orgasms, but few take advantage of this. Many women aren't taking advantage of the fact that they can have multiple and different types of orgasms, says John Wilder, a marriage, relationship, and sexual coach and author of Sex Education for Adults. This could be due to a lack of understanding of their own bodies or a partner who is unwilling or uneducated in good sex. The actual issue is that there is no sex school for adults, and it is thought that everyone would figure it out on their own. 
Great sex, on the other hand, is an acquired talent, he claims. 80% of women will have chronic painful sex. Sex shouldn't hurt, but the fact is that it occasionally does. According to Tara Langdale Schmidt, a pelvic pain expert, the great majority of women will have painful intercourse at some time in their life. Don't feel ashamed if something occurs to you, she says. Do not allow a doctor convince you that your physical discomfort is in your mind, or just put you on medicine or an antidepressant, as they regularly try to do. That is not an acceptable response. Know that there are numerous options available to them for assistance, information, and new therapies that can help. The absence of an erection does not imply that he is not turned on. I'm not sure why the belief persists that an erect penis must remain erect in order to demonstrate interest. Pleasure-focused sex is likely to explore a variety of pleasures, including calming pleasure and reassuring touch, Proz explains. An erection by itself does not indicate penetration time, and it is not the only sign of what a male could want. As with women, inquire. P.S. Sex doesn't have to grow worse as you get older. What's the key to mind-blowing sex? Lube. According to Maureen Dr. Mo Miller, PhD, host of The Basics with Dr. Mo, using a decent personal lubricant may mean the difference between meh and wonderful. Place a drop or two inside a condom before putting it on. You'll wonder why you never tried this before, she advises. In actual life, fantasy sex isn't all that appealing. According to Alex Chinks, PsyD, a qualified clinical psychologist and clinical sexologist, life should not mirror art when it comes to porn. Movies are a combination of fiction and special effects that are only loosely related to reality, but many people believe that a good sexual encounter should be similar to what they see on film. Keep expectations realistic, and be willing to change the script, she advises. It's critical to understand that excellent sex is frequently attained via the most simple acts and a genuine connection to one's partner. Sex is a potent medication. A joyful, regular sex life isn't just excellent for your happiness. Studies have shown that it may also enhance your heart health, increase immunity, and lessen your chance of some cancers, just a few of the many surprising health advantages of sex. According to researchers, this is because excellent sex reduces stress, improves hormone balance, and even counts as some exercise. Best exercise you've ever had. Cucumbers are not sexual toys. According to a Yale analysis, the only materials that are genuinely safe for use inside your body are silicone, steel, pyrex, glass, or specifically laminated wood. Researchers highlighted that toys consisting of vinyl, latex, or a combination of these materials with other polymers are not thought to be safe for skin contact and should only be used with a condom. Cucumbs, sexting can strengthen your bonds with others. According to Emily Stasco, MS, MPH, main author of a study on the effects of sexting on relationships, sending hot texts and images to your significant other boosts both your sexual pleasure and overall happiness in your relationship. According to Stasco, we discovered a strong association between sexting and sexual and relationship pleasure. Sexting, however, appeared to reduce sexual pleasure for research participants who identified as single, suggesting that it may be negative in starting a good relationship but beneficial in preserving one. A penis can be broken. A penile fracture is a genuine occurrence that may and does occur, claims. Despite being relatively uncommon, it merits discussion since there are steps you may take to guard against this ailment. He says that when the pair positions themselves differently with the erect penis still inside the vagina, there is a higher danger of penile fractures. I suggest you to totally remove the penis from the vagina if you want to change positions. Take it easy there, cowboy, says the man, adding that overly forceful pumping can occasionally result in a penile fracture. The withdrawal technique is ineffective. According to ZVI Zuckerman, MD, a physician and licensed sex therapist at Between Us Clinic, the withdrawal or pull-out strategy is not particularly effective in preventing pregnancy, even if it is better than completely unprotected sexual activity. The issue is that it necessitates both a high degree of ejaculatory control and a significant amount of responsibility on the part of the guy to pull out in time, he says. Even if withdrawal is rapid, a few semen drops in the vagina are enough to trigger pregnancy if ejaculatory spasms have already started. There are several sperm in each drop of semen. Sometimes the initial ejaculated droplets are not even felt by the male. Between 10 and 18 percent of people who use this technique are female. We hope that you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe to support this channel, see you soon.